Hello, this is Chill Computer Guy. We're coming to you with a product review. We got the uh, JPS Harmonic Synthesizer. Um, let's take a look at this thing. It's kind of an expensive one. It's an $80 synth, so I don't know. You really got to be careful here. Uh, Jiggery Pokery Sound. They make a lot of these. Uh, they're basically these old kind of uh, uh, organs, old, you know, tab organs. <laughs> But uh, with this, all the analog audio path, the rock solid digital harmonic oscillators, the RMI harmonic synthesizer has the world's first digital synth was was the world's first digital synthesizer, produced in a very limited quantities for the very short period in the mid 70s. Long last year is the opportunity to own a loving loving recreation of this beautiful and exceptional ultra rare classic American synthesizer. There it is. Uh, let's take a look. This is kind of a bleach bypass look on this. Uh, there, there's what it actually looks like right there. Uh, a lot of, a lot of things. It looks like there's a whole separate ra rack for effects down here. That's pretty exciting. That's kind of cool. Um, holy cow! Look at that. tons of modulation on the back there. Uh, look at that. Oh, wouldn't that be nice if you ordered this thing and that came in the mail with the coffee stains on it? That'd be awesome. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so we're going to take a look at this thing in, uh, in propeller head reason. We got one in here. This is the default patch. We're going to go ahead and give that a listen. What do we got here? Oh, we have harmonics. It's like an EQ, but harmonics. So, yeah, tons of uh, harmonic generator. Oh, wow. Clarinet. So I guess we're layering these. I guess as we click on these, we're layering these. That's what I'm guessing. So there's another. Oh, there's two separate. It looks like there's two separate harmonic generators. Yeah, see, there's two oscillators. So we have oscillator one. And, oh, these are envelopes. So we have oscillator one, oscillator two. Flute, a horn, yeah. So I like how that's crooked. That's pretty nice. I like that look. Oh yeah, getting some tremolo, some vibrato, mod wheels, two separate mod wheels, a little pitch bend. Oh yeah, get out of here. This thing's pretty nutty. Just a bunch of layered sounds here. <laughs> All right, here's form and lead. Let's do some, uh, let's check out some presets. Step. Oh, that's a nice little. It's a nice organ. Orchestral. I kind of like that. Tons of presets in here. We don't really have any Combinator presets, but Transylvania. I mean, this thing's packing some heat. I mean, we get some pretty good sound out of this thing. Let's go ahead and uh, go to the default, see what we got here. Okay, so it sounds like a sine wave or something. And then we're add, adding some harmonics. These would be kind of like your draw bars, I guess. What the heck? Is there like two banks of them? What's going on there? That's kind of wild. Okay, so that's the harmonic generator one, the harmonic generator two, the sync button to sync the two.
filter, so we have some filter down here. Okay, I wanna I wanna reset this again because I wanna check out the effects specifically. Looks like you got some distortion here. Well, that's pretty decent. Let's check out the chorus. Looks like four voices. That's a pretty sweet sounding. Not a bad sounding chorus. Got a flanger, gotta have a flanger. Let's turn that up. We also got a phaser. Let's check out the phaser. Excellente. Got a delay. A stereo delay, no doubt. Reverb. Decent reverb. That's pretty nice sound. Let's add some instruments in here. A lower tremolo. So this LFO must... Let's sync it up. The LFO must control all these top parameters. One LFO control. I wish we had separate LFO controls. Of course, here's the thing, is I'm, I'm really into, uh, especially with all these effects, I'd rather have just a basic synth that I could route out to effects. I mean, having the effects on board, having the LFOs on board, I guess, is part of the package, but... You know, I really... If I just had the, uh, if I just had the harmonic generator and just the oscillators without the the LFO, maybe the filter, the filter's pretty unique, but without all the effects, you know, for 20 bucks or something, I'd be more apt to buy it. I mean, this is an $80 cent, so that makes it, you know, you really got to look at what you're doing here. You really got to look at what this thing can do. pretty good. That's a nice little back texture there. You know. Oh, look at that. You can shift it down octaves. Right there. You got an octave control right up top. That's pretty nice. That's a, just a nice, nice layered modulated sound right there. I'm actually really digging on this. It's a nice little songwriting tool for maybe some ambient stuff, but uh you know, again, it's eighty dollars. It's a, you know, it's it's a it's kind of an expensive synth. Fun little synth. So what do I think? I don't know. It's got a lot of built-on... It's got built-in effects. It's got an LFO. It's got a nice little filter. I don't know. For 79 bucks, it's a little pricey. Maybe wait till it goes on sale. I could see... Uh, you know, I'd probably pay uh, 
oh, 30, 40 bucks tops for this. Just, just because, again, there's so many synthesizers and there's so many organ simulations, you know. If you're really into the organ simulation and really into that sound, you can create some pretty... Uh, some pretty nice little uh, at atmospheric kind of uh, layered effects, you know, and so that's that's kind of nice. Again, it's the uh, JPS Harmonic Synthesizer. Check it out. Um, you know, download it 30 days for free. You know, pound on the keys, turn the knobs, see what you think. If it's worth the money, pick it up. But um. Yeah, I think it's a nice little unit. You know, anything that you throw into the rack and it, and it inspires you to create music is a winner, in my opinion. And this synthesizer really is kind of kind of fun to just get in there and start turning knobs and, you know, get inspired. So, anyway, this is Chill Computer Guy. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.